Okay, so what we're doing right now here at the LDSH is we're running a Leopard 2 main battle tank gunnery course. So it's taking a lot of new soldiers who have never really been inside a turret before or turret qualified. We're teaching them how to load, maintain, and fire the Leopard 2 main battle tank. I'm Mass Corporal New. Uh, I'm an ADFS instructor for gunnery here. Uh, I've done my specialized courses as a tank gunner for a number of years and instructed on multiple gunner courses. Uh, over my time here at uh, Lord Strathcona's Horse. So I'm currently AO of B Squadron, the Administrative Officer. That's my role as of right now, but I'm currently on the Leopard 2 Mod 3 course. So that's the crew commander portion of the Leopard 2. Um, that's basically setting me up to become a troop leader to fill in B Squadron. I'm a candidate on the Mod 3 gunnery course for the Leopard 2. Uh, so because I'm an officer, I'm doing the crew commander gunnery portion of the course. So uh, I have done a previous crew commander gunnery course for a different platform, uh, 25 mil, and this is my first time doing the 120 platform. The reason why the training is important is because it allows us to have soldiers advance throughout their careers, going from drivers up to gunners, and then eventually throughout their careers, they'll end up becoming commanders of the main battle tank itself. Uh, it's just a career progression course to allow these guys to advance up the next level. Based on my experience, the most challenging part of the course is uh, retaining all the knowledge and learning it to the point of understanding where you apply that in your drills and understand why you're doing what you're doing. The drills become natural as you've practiced them so much by the end of course. However, the knowledge and retention of that is something that you need to uh, really work at in order to be successful in the course. The biggest challenge is instructors trying to break it down because every student is different, just so that they're able to better understand how and how simple it is to apply some of these corrections or apply the theory of knowledge that they have been taught and to ensure to them that they remember these drills because uh, we want them to be able to do these drills without making a mistake or without even thinking about it. They just react to the words of command that they're being given to them. Uh, that's why it's called a drill. So that when they are employing them out in the field on exercises, then they're able to react quickly and effectively hit targets at different ranges and different uh, modes of operation in the tank for all around success of the tank crew. What I've noticed causes uh Students' the most difficulties is uh, stage four, the dry practice, which is misfires, stoppages on the vehicles. Uh, there's a lot of drills and you're expected to have an automatic reaction under stress and be able to uh, more or less repeat the drills and conduct them uh, as they are situated. So verbatim, the drills will cause an automatic reaction when you get stoppages and misfires throughout and react appropriately. What I find most challenging so far is remembering all of the different commands for each position uh, and being able to do them automatically. As this is only our second week, it's coming, but uh, the automatic response is not completely there. Sometimes it's still like switching between drills. I get tripped up and stuff like that. So that's definitely the hardest because there is a lot to have to remember and you need to do it verbatim. Well, sort of challenges. Um, there are a few. It's obviously absorbing the course content, learning the vehicle, learning how to properly work within the turret and with the crew, and as well as just coming together as a team. Fire now! Fire 
Hurry now. My words of advice to uh, those who are beginning a uh, gunner's course is to uh, learn the methods that are going to help you study. And there's a lot of knowledge to grasp and uh, retain. So learning the methods that are both going to help you retain the knowledge best, uh, whether it be studying off of cue cards, practicing drills, learn them, utilize them, study constantly and study with uh, friends to assist you in uh, retaining the knowledge as there is a lot of knowledge to learn over the course and retention and of that knowledge is critical because it applies to how you actually apply the, uh, the gunner skills and corrections and drills throughout that you're going to learn over the course. So the biggest things that I would have always said is review your theory. It's a lot of knowledge. You have to understand the theory. If you understand what the theory means, and the meaning behind all of the theory, it's a lot easier to apply it. And then rehearsing your drills over, like daily, talking to your friends, practicing them at home, in the mirror or whatever, just get it down so that it becomes second nature. It's not, you don't have to think about it, you just react to it. Probably the highlight of it is once everything gets going and everyone's in sync and you're able to execute drills, it sounds really sharp and it looks really good and you know that it's an efficient system. Once those challenges have been overcome, that's when you start seeing more of the highlights, which is the teamwork once again, the crews, the drills, it all starts to come together and it's really nice when you have all of these things down pat because then you see this big machine working, a well-oiled machine, and everyone in the crew is just motivated and driven to become one big machine. And it works out well as a crew commander because that's exactly what you want. You have a, It instills a sense of pride um, and just general overall happiness with the way that things are working out. So everything that might be a challenge now, once you're able to work through it, it's, it turns into a reward in and of itself. And you, you, you build a team out of that. This will be my fifth time instructing gunnery, uh, but over my time and experience instructing gunnery, what I found most rewarding to me has been uh, being able to identify students that are struggling in certain areas and being able to tailor instruction to them and make them successful on course you know not everyone is the same in how they learn so identifying where they're struggling and how to best uh, provide instruction to them in a method they understand has been most rewarding for my experience as an instructor i've taught quite a few courses here with the leopard gunnery course over the past three years since i've been posted back to the regiment watching them be able to hit targets at long distances and do their drills effectively and quickly and often it's Good to see that they've actually tried to become good gunners because uh, that's what we want here in the Strathconas and the Canadian Armed Forces is effective gunners. So for me to watch them finish the course and understand that they've hit their targets at these long ranges, uh, it's a good feeling to, to be a part of.